Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Sarasota, Florida on the west coast of Florida in a master community called Lakewood Ranch. And we're in the actual part of the community called Lake House Cove at Waterside. The home behind me was built by Homes by Town. It's called the Tideland Home. Uh, it is actually 3,426 square feet of living with three bedrooms, but up to four bedrooms with three and a half baths or up to four baths. And the current price, if you're looking to build this, is gonna be between 1.9 and $2 million. Now, if you're interested in actually purchasing this house, make sure you contact us so we can get you all the accurate pricing because pricing does change. And we do have really good partners here in Lakewood Ranch that will take great care of you if you're looking to buy. So let's go ahead and look at the home. So as we come up, of course, we have this really nice paved driveway that goes all the way over and curves into the three car garage. I love this actual three car garage with the way that they have the designs on each of the actual garage doors, a single car garage and the two car garage. And even the address here with the actual label on it with the little house is pretty neat as well. And then of course we have the carriage lights and all the tropical landscaping. So as we come up to the home, we can see that we do have a slate roof and also some metal roof as well going on. And then we have the front patio area. So as I step up to the front patio, I like how they have the actual pavers with the darker and the lighter colors. And then of course we have the covered area, a couple carriage lights above us, and of course the windows and the door in front of us. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this beautiful home. So as I come in, the first thing that I notice are these beautiful floors throughout the first floor. And of course, as you see, it looks like it's a wood floor, but it's actually ceramic tile. And then what we also see a lot with this specific builder is a lot of wood trim. So beautiful wood trim here. And then as I continue and look up, we see elevated ceilings and also a tray ceiling with some wood trim around it and also really cool designs with this nice light fixture coming down below. So let's go ahead and go to the right and show you what we have here. So this would be bedroom number two. It's currently set up with a nice size bed. And of course we do have end table on your side and you'll see that actual trim work window behind me. And then as I look up, we also see a nice tray ceiling as well with the LED lights and another really neat design in the ceiling with the light coming down. This is an own ensuite. So as I go over this direction and walk into the full bathroom here, we transition to ceramic floors, nice white cabinets, and of course, solid countertops, mirror with the frame around it, really neat wallpaper all the way around. We have a window for some nice natural light. And then we do have the tub with the subway tile. And then right next door is gonna be a walk-in closet. That is a good size walk-in closet for a spare bedroom, as you can see. So as we go back the other way, I get to actually show you what you see when you actually walk in the house, which is, I think is one of the best things. So as I come this way and I have Haley, who's working the camera today, going over to the front door, you actually get to see what everyone would see when they come into your house, which of course is the family room kitchen and also the dining room. So this dining room set up here, currently set up for eight people to sit around, really nice size. And of course, as I look up, we do see that same sort of ceiling with the elevated ceilings, the tray, and of course, that really cool architectural design and the light fixture coming down from it. So follow me this direction. We're gonna go ahead and go into the kitchen. So this kitchen has a very, very large center island. As you can see, it's currently set up for four people to sit here and enjoy their morning breakfast. We have three pendant lights coming down from the ceiling. And then of course, as we go over this direction, we'll go into the pantry. So we can even put a door here if you wanted to. Uh, and then we come into a butler's pantry with some pl plenty of cabinets, nice gray color, nice solid surface countertop, and then cabinet back here. And of course we have the pantry. The pantry does have the sliding door. Now, if you need some extra space for the pantry, you could use what I call the Harry Potter room, which is under the stairs. And as you can see, we continue to go all the way back. So plenty of space there also. So as we continue to go through the kitchen, we see that we have a GE profile oven and microwave. And then we go into the actual kitchen, nice white cabinets here. Nice solid surface countertops. And of course we have the subway tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling, it's really nice. And then a window here, and we have a matching window on the other side as well. Now, as I come over to the other side, I do see that on this side, we do have the gray cabinets, which contrast really nice with the whites on the other side. We have our dishwasher, and then of course the sink, which is below the counter, really nice size, nice stainless steel, plenty of room here, and your faucet. And then of course, on the other side, we do have the stove range here. It's got currently set up for a five burner gas stove with the air vent to vent everything else. Cabinets on either side. And as we continue, we have that second window here looking out at the tropical landscaping. I just see a whole bunch of palm trees right now. And then the cabinet work goes all the way around. Everything is nice and upgraded with a soft close, as you can see. And then of course, we have our refrigerator, freezer combo, also GE profile. Now, as I continue the tour, we go this direction. And what opens up to is the family room. 
Very, very large family room, lots of space. As you can see, and the first thing that probably stands out to everyone is going to be the actual accent wall here and how everything's done. So we have, looks like porcelain tile all the way around with this electronic fireplace in the middle. It's absolutely beautiful. And as we go up, we have wood paneling behind the TV going all the way up to the ceiling. And the ceiling also is a large elevated ceiling. And then it has a tray ceiling with a cool architectural features and the light fixture falling from the sky there. Awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and go this direction into the primary bedroom suite. So as I come into the primary bedroom suite, we do have a sliding glass door that goes out to the pool area. And of course the amazing views, and we'll show you that later on in the video. And of course this accent wall behind us, we have lots of mirrors and also wood paneling. And then above us is gonna be the ceiling also elevated with the tray and architectural designs with the light fixture also coming down from the ceiling. So as we come this direction, we go into the actual primary bathroom and closet. So we have two closets, one on this side, and then also we have another one on this side. So, and then as we continue to go into the bathroom, we have our water closet on our left, and then we go into the actual sink area. So we have two sinks, one sink on this side with some really nice white cabinets, gray countertops, sink, and of course the mirror that's framed around it. And then you'll notice the wallpaper really stands out, makes everything pop going around past this window. And then we also have a linen closet where you can put all your towels, and then it comes over to the secondary sink area. This one has a sitting area as well, a little bit bigger mirror that's also framed with a cool light fixture. And of course behind me is going to be the shower. So as I step into the shower, we see we have some really cool gray squares and it looks like porcelain tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Absolutely beautiful area. I like how the wallpaper contrasts with those light colors. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So come this direction. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe if you like looking at luxury homes or are just trying to get interior decorating design ideas for your home, we both would appreciate it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pass the sliders that go out to the actual pool and go into the office or den area. So as we come through here, currently has a set of French doors. And then there's a really nice size space here for an office. Uh, we have an accent wall in the back. They have built-in shelves and some nice wood paneling. And as we look up, we also see that they've done some a good job with the ceiling here as well as tray with this beautiful design in the tray ceiling and the light fixture that comes down. Now, it has a sliding glass door here, but if you did want the fourth bedroom, what would happen is that there'd be a wall here. Everything behind me would be the bedroom and that would give more space to put a full bathroom right here where there's currently a half bath. So as we come in here, we have our linen closet and of course the cabinet, nice solid gray countertop mirror. And this one has some really nice tile work going all the way up to the ceiling. And of course that contrasts really nice with this wallpaper. So let's go ahead and go over to the other side of the house. Now, as we walk, you get to see the really nice grand view of the actual house with the family room, kitchen and dining room as we head down to where the three car garage is and also the laundry room. So as we come down here, over to my left is going to be the drop zones, a cool little area where you can sit, put your shoes on, has a little window there for some natural light. We had a three car garage behind this door. It's currently used as storage, so I can't really show you that. And then over to the right here would be the laundry room. So as they come into the laundry room, they have it all set up with nice cabinets, solid surface countertops. And of course they even have a sink here, your washer, your dryer, and of course plenty of cabinets, a nice window behind me for some light, nice lights. And we also have some cabinets over here and this really nice gray subway tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling on either side of the room. So let's go ahead. The only thing we have left is the second floor and the outdoor area. So let's go ahead and go up to the second floor. Now, as we come over here, we notice the railings, nice upgraded railings. I love the gray colors and also the whites coming down as we go up and check out the second story. All right, so here we are on the second floor of this home. Now, if I go over to my left, right off the loft is gonna be its own little wet bar. So we have plenty of cabinets, all nice white cabinets, beautiful countertops. And of course we have cabinets up here, window, and then even some shelves where you can put your wine glasses and any sort of beverages that you want. And then we even have a beverage refrigerator down here. So as I go over, it opens up to the actual loft, a nice little area here to sit down and watch TV. They have a huge sectional TV over here. You can see how they did the woodwork as well on the walls. And I love the contrasting colors between the whites and the like the bluish light bluish grays that we have above it and we also see that we do have the in ceiling speakers and talking about the ceiling itself we do have the tray ceiling with led lights around it and of course there's a really nice architectural design that we see in every single room in this house so follow me this direction and then what we'll do is we'll show you the last bedroom that's down this hallway so we do have this door this door goes to the air handler this is the linen closet for the bathroom and then of course we do have a full bathroom up here this bathroom is really cool i love the wallpaper sort of like a nautilus feel with the actual compass and then of course we do have the cabinets countertop mirror and the really cool light fixture 
And then on my other side, we do have a tub with subway tile as well. And then we come into bedroom number three, which is the nice size bedroom and the closet. Let me show you the closet first. The closet is really cool. It's actually really big for an actual spare bedroom. So as you come up here, as you can see, you have plenty of space in the closet. And then of course it opens up to the bedroom. We do have our bed, a couple end tables. And then of course I have to look up at the ceilings because everything in this house has these amazing ceilings with the tray ceiling and of course the architectural designs and the light fixture. And then look behind me, the amazing views of the lake and also the outdoor living, which we will check out right now. All right, so here we are on the outdoor living, which is absolutely the best part of it. We do have the sliders that go into the office on this side. And of course, this is a really cool area. You have a little ice bucket where you can put your beers on this table. And then of course, we go to our sliders that go all the way across into the actual living, outdoor living area with the TV. And even when I look up, the ceiling even has a tray ceiling out here on the outdoor living area as well. Now, the best part, of course, is what's behind me, which is the pool. The pool is absolutely amazing, amazing crystal clear waters, nice tile, and I love the little waterfall that comes out and the tanning bench and then of course behind me is going to be the actual lake so if you're interested in this home make sure you give us a call I'll be more than happy to help you take care bye bye